Nation. Act like you know already, man. We're in here, hip hop shit every single Monday night, and we're honored. And let me see if I get it right. Last name Digger, first name Rashia. Let's go. <laughs> hey, thank you for being on the show with us. Oh, thank y'all for having me. Appreciate you. We are so stoked. And this is just kind of like a warm up because not only do we get to be blessed with your presence right now via Zoom, especially during this whole quarantine, it's been really crazy having to see artists find different ways to communicate with people, but it's also giving you guys an opportunity to be really more in touch with your fans and see who's really vibing and rocking with you. Now that it's Word. opening up, we got to have you here in Kelly. Yeah. Yes, my first official show of 2021. And and you know what? That's good for us, you know, as hip hop heads, because we know we're getting back to it now, where we could, you know, we we we've been missing the live shows, and I and I'm sure as an artist, you've been missing performing too a little bit, right? I do. Um, I had a nice little run somewhere. I I, I want to say like right before winter hit, like some like the month of October, I was knocking out shows back to back. I guess it was like it was like the last of the the warm weather sort of places that could uh uh that could set up outdoors they they were really uh pushing it i think my last show might have been like towards the end of october it was in it was in connecticut but it had started getting cold and it was outdoor it was like an outdoor festival so i was performing in my goose but i mean you know i guess we 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 are, we are resilient people man we are resilient culture we we do what we can Although I will say I am happy to do away with virtual performances. Like, hopefully that is not the new norm because those shits got on my nerves. Oh, yeah. No, and and you know what? It was uh, a way to reimagine just getting the people what they wanted to hear. And, you know, especially when new mm -hmm. projects are coming out. But I feel you, man. There, it's nothing like being there right right in front of the live performance and getting that, you know, that raw stuff. That's you know? so true. But y'all really did it your is, part, though. We needed no, you. It's nothing, you know, nothing could replace, like, a live audience. You know what I'm saying? Easter see the Dodger games. I don't know if every everybody's doing this, but the Dodgers were selling um, – your face could be in the crowd on these like cardboard cutouts. So we had yeah, friends that I, were I like, that. look for us, we're there. And I'm like, how do you spend $500 on that? Are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> Ain't nothing like being there in the flesh for real. But you'll take what you right. could get though. We'll take what we could get. If we could get you virtually until we can have you in the flesh, we'll take it, you know? <laughs> hey, and you know, um, but you know, it's not far away. It's uh, uh, with two or three weeks away, uh, I believe. Yeah, uh, but you're gonna be, be right show. here in Covina, which is where we're at right yeah. now, doing this, and and uh, right there on Arrow High, where we're gonna give out the address to everybody and stuff. But this is gonna be dope. I know. I saw House Shoes is gonna be there. It's gonna be spinning yeah. epic as hell, right? Oh yeah, House Shoes yeah. is a G. The, hom the, the visionaries, yep. the homies. Pause you know. one hosting it. The last time I saw you was at the airliner. You did a killer show on the main stage at the airliner, which is no longer alive anymore. It got bought out by somebody who's turning it into like a it's like, yeah, some, breakfast at weird, Tiffany's yeah. or something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's not raw hip hop no more. But yeah. but yeah, and, that, and that's dope to, to see you guys getting back to it. You know, um, I wanted to. Oh, first off, I did want to say, though, we had a lot of the homies commenting and stuff, too. I, I mean, I'm sure you're aware of this already, but uh, the, the West Coast loves them some raw digger for reals. Um, like a lot of homies been bugging. I love y'all more. Yeah, yeah they they've been they've been commenting on the day. I love me some raw digger. Like everybody, like you know what I'm saying, and people hitting me up and um, it's dope. And um, you know another artist that I just wanted to talk about briefly. Um, you, you know you you've worked with. Um, she we had some scheduling conflicts, but we're still planning to get her here. But Lyric Jones, oh, like, yeah. oh man, like the stuff you guys do together is so dope. Um, how, how did that? That's, that's my baby girl, how, sis. How did that happen? Yeah, I wanted to ask how you guys like first came to in contact with each other and started working. Well, she came to my. We met in we met in ATL. She came to my album release for Classic. Um, I forgot what the venue was called. I want to say Club Apache, but it's like a, it's like a, it's like a really, uh, dope hip hop spot. And she came in, she, you know, and she, she came up to me, she introduced herself to me. And, um, like over time, I think I, I think I 
I think my next encounter with her may have been in LA, but you know, she's a really, you know, she's a really hard working sister and, and just, you know, over time I, I've, I've seen like, you know, just different things that she was doing. And, and anytime I had an event, whether it was down there, whether it was LA, like she would show up, she would support, she would, uh, you know, make up, make her presence known. And, and she just, like, I, you know, I, I just grew to love her. Like, I love, I think I fell in love with the, with the passion and the work ethic before I even was really familiar with her, uh, with her music. And, and after that, like, our relationship just grew beyond music. Like, she just really became, like, my little sister. Hardest cameo of the year, though you in the, in her video and the video she came out with that was uh, that, that was so fly. And that, and that was done. And that was done by design. Like I was like my my role was to diddy bop in the background. <laughs> you and know, everybody wanted to know why I didn't do a verse. Like no, we we had it planned this way. It was supposed to be ad libs and dancing in the video. Like I I was supposed to I was supposed to represent puffy in that moment that is so dope you know no matter how you come it. out though you always kill it i have a feature um that you came out on that we have queued up that we're gonna definitely get into in a little while and you bodied that one too those were some cats out of michigan who've been on the show so we're gonna play uh, okay yeah you know, i do so i do so many features everybody always be like yo when, when you put out new music right there i'm like yo i got i got so many features all over the place i'll be trying to keep track of them because you know you you work with artists or you, you know when you're traveling you go to different places you meet different artists y'all vibe y'all go to the lab and then you don't hear anything for like two three years and then it, 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 sometimes it'll be like years later i'll just now i'll just see on social media news such and such feature i think i'm like wait a minute yeah, what, what? <laughs> but nah, it, it definitely keeps you know keeps my name out there for sure what are some of the aspects that you look for besides the PayPal for the feature? What are some of the aspects that you look for with artists when you're going to work with them? No, well, even more, even more importantly than, than the money, like I got to, first of all, I got to, I got to like the record. I, I, I got, I got to like the record. Um, and then, you know, sometimes, sometimes it may not necessarily be something that I would do as Rodiga, but if I, you know, I do my little research, and if I if I feel your movement, like I'll see where you're at. And, and when, I don't mean like I, you gotta have all these followers and all these numbers, because that you know numbers do lie. I just uh, I just kind of you know I, I just like to see where the artist is coming from, and 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 you know, do we connect? Does this record make sense? Is it on brand with what they represent? Is it on brand with what I represent? And and take it from there. And um, you know, sometimes you you know how people will, will say, yeah, and I'm putting such a such. You know, who who else is on the record? Sometimes uh, will definitely play a factor too. But it it, it it could be a number of things. Or you know, I just might say, hey, you know what? If I love if I love it that much, you know, sometimes I'll I'll do it for the for the low and, and just I just want to you know lend my services in in any way I can. If I'm in the mood, you know, if yeah. the mood's <laughs> Hey, Makes the sense. vibe, the vibe's got to be right. That's real, man. And and that's right. and you know what? Um, and that's a, uh, another way. Like something on our on our show that we try to really do is, you know, we have OGs to up and coming artists to different things, and it. I, I feel like it's always dope when when there's uh when you could bridge that gap with music, because then you, you know, you might get some new fans that are you know in their teens. That you know, right. all of a sudden they're they're gonna go do their research and they're gonna know who you know Dirty Harriet is. And, you know that's what I'm right. saying? And 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 that's always a dope thing for me as a hip hop head. Right. That's important though. That's it's it's you know we're we're gonna be we're now seeing the the people that I grew up loving and and pioneers and OGs. You know, we're seeing a lot of them pass away. Like we're at that age where all of your favorite '90s artists are like about to be in their 50s now in their 50s so it, it, it it's important to you know not only keep our legacy alive but also give a leg up to the to the next coming generation like i want to be able to go to sleep at night 
at one day and wake up and you know sit back and just ruffle at the the 19 20 year old rod digger doing her thing you know what i'm saying like i'm not trying to hog the lane like i don't want to be 60 like oh you young whippersnappers don't know <laughs> Move. <laughs> like, you know, I, want, I actually want to retire. <laughs> Do you have any advice for those young up and coming artists? Because you're considered one of the most well respected um, for both genders. Oh, yeah, easily. Both right. Yeah. Absolutely. Like one of the most dominant artists in the game for both genders. And that's I'm not making that up. That's like you've been coined that. So I'm curious if you have any advice for those artists that are looking to kind of maybe fill not necessarily take over but fill that lane when you step aside and say let's see what you got do you have any advice for them um i what i like to tell everybody is just keep keep your pen game sharp man like i there's always you know there's there's fads there's trends there's waves that are, that are constantly gonna come and go and you don't want to spend your career uh, chasing waves. Like you want to create them. There's always going to be a lane for lyricism. Like lyricism is something that will never get played out. So when it's all said and done, you know, if you don't got the same amount of money, you don't look the same, you didn't gain weight. <laughs> you know, what, like whatever's going on with you personally, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't have that team with you anymore like as long as your pin game is tight like you'll always be able to create a, a a market and a lane for yourself like you'll always have that you'll always be able to gather a a a following because it's there's you know there's always a demand for lyricism there there isn't always a demand for crunk there isn't always a demand for boom that there isn't all you know but there's always a demand for and actually there is always a demand for both that but <laughs> right? i say that to say is as long as you can rhyme <laughs> you'll be able to fit in whatever time period whatever generation whatever lane hey man that that's i'm i'm glad you said that because that's that's real talk and, and me um you know being you know pretty much the same age as hip-hop and all that um like i grew up on that part is is um the lyrics like that was something that i always looked to uh for artists those were the ones i went and purchased with my allowance money on tuesdays when when the records used to yes. come out you know what i'm saying so i'm um, glad you said that hey real quick i know we're on limited time but i wanted to ask about um you know the role because i i've been following you for a minute obviously with the, the music since way back but um you you gave a lot of props to to q-tip on the path that your career is taking i i just wanted you to talk about that real quick because I, I thought that was real dope well a lot of people don't realize um q-tip was the one that signed me uh, like even before i became flip mode flip and mode, yeah. signed to Buster flip Rhymes. Mode? I was signed to Q-Tip first. Q-Tip was the one uh, I signed to Q-Tip and through Q-Tip I got my deal up at Electra Records. So I was uh, I was his artist for a couple of years, but then uh, um, unbeknownst to me, like now that all of the the history is out there, I didn't realize at the time that. Tribe Called Quest was in the process of breaking up. Like, I was literally, you know, in the middle of that. And I was just this, you know, this young, hungry artist from Jersey dying to get my record out. So while he's going through whatever he's going through, I'm probably bugging him every hour and hour. Like, what am I to the studio? Send me the beat. What am I going to send out? What am I What about it? You know, so at some point, he put a bug in Buster Rhymes' ear like, yeah, I've got this sick female MC. She is driving me up a wall. <laughs> like, I think she would be a great fit for, for flip mode. And, and what was interesting, too, is that I didn't realize this was something that I had to learn about my artistry. You know how you can love someone like uh, Tribe Paul Quest, arguably my favorite group of all time. One of uh, Q-Tip arguably one of my favorite producers of all time. Like that was my dream to work with him. But when I was, when I would do the stuff or, or, you know, when I would get beats, I always felt like they weren't aggressive enough or they didn't yeah. match my energy. And I thought something was wrong with me. Like I couldn't, I couldn't figure out for the life of me, like why 
you know, why my favorite producer, like why I don't, I can't make a good record with, uh, you know, with my favorite producer. And it took me a minute to learn that, you know, sometimes what works, you know, what works for somebody else doesn't always work for you. And it's like, I've got this harsh, aggressive, you know, high energy uh, conviction when I rhyme and it didn't always gel with, with Q-tips, jazzy, melodic stuff. And I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what that was until later on, like, you know what, maybe, <laughs> maybe that isn't, you know, the, the best vibe for me. But then once I started working with a Knotts and other people, it's like, okay, they have, you know, the production that matches my energy, but it's something that I had to figure out, you know, about my artistry in time. So dope. So dope to hear those stories because, you know, we just we just heard all the music. We don't know always what goes behind the scene goes on behind the scenes. And that's mm -hmm. dope to hear. Would you find yourself um, trying to conform to the beat or would you find yourself sending the beat back and saying, mm, I need more 808? I don't know. Oh, it's no. not. I, I tell producer in a heartbeat, no matter who you are, like, no, <laughs> I, I need you to thug this out a little bit. Hey, more. that's right. I, I do it to Primo. I, it don't matter who you are. You know, you know what's the first before I got lessons of today. You know what the the first uh, beat that Primo presented to me, um, uh, uh, Common. Did you know? Yes, you know. Oh wow! That was my beat first. Wow! Hey, and see, you were like uh -uh. gems right here. <laughs> that, that was my beat first. I mean, now listening to what Common and Bilal did to it, you like, God damn, she turned that down. But when I first got it, I thought. I, it, it was too pretty. I, I thought it was too pretty. I'm like, no, I need, I need something a little more like, you know, hardcore. And, and then I got, I got lessons of today. And, and I think, sense. and I think that's um, what translated. I mean, at least I know I could speak for the, you know, on this side, like what translated to the fan base you have is because I mean, you stuck to who you are, you knew who you were as an MC and for that to hear that story is dope. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that rough rugged stuff is what we like to hear over here. So we were like, man, and a female spitting this too. And like she said, it don't matter. You spit harder than it. Like most people, it don't matter what genre. So what, I, what I, gender? Yeah. What gen yeah. Gen uh, gender, <laughs> gender, my bad gender genre. But speaking of genres though, um, getting into the acting side, uh, you're you're kind of acting when you're on stage anyways i know it's a part of your persona but in terms of being on the silver screen um was that uncomfortable or different in any way feeling out of your element how did you transition into that well buster used to always say to me like i think you would be dope acting you you should go out for some roles but it, it wasn't really a passion of mine it wasn't anything that i was pursuing but uh a few people like, people would just say to me, you know, often, like, you know, you should think about doing a role. Like, you you know, you, you're you really funny. Like, you, you know, you, you have a great personality. You should, you should think about doing films. And and uh, I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll go for it. I took a shot. I, uh, I came out to L.A. and I auditioned for Baby Boy. And I didn't get Baby Boy, but I ended up getting 13 goats. And I yeah. improv reading of 13 goals because that was like a that was like an impromptu reading that was something that my agent had called like yo if you got time before you go to the airport i got uh, one more audition could you squeeze it and i was so hung over like i was just not i wasn't prepared for it or anything i just kind of showed up uh burping alcohol like um, <laughs> okay uh wake me up we get there okay we're here all snap all right and I went in and I'm trying to read the signs. And when I tell you the words were literally like moving off the paper. Oh, I'm, wow. I ended up like pulling it up like, no, this is giving me a headache. I'm, we're just going to wing this. And the director saw all of this transpiring on camera and loved it. He's like, no, that is, that's, that's, that's our girl. That's our nanny, right? There. That's what we're looking for. That's amazing how and, that uh, works out. And, and ever since, and then right from there, I uh, I got the, uh, I did the, the hip-hopera, Carmen. And that was and, hard. That was hard. And 
I tried, you know, I did try to go out for more rules. Like I tried the whole and I, I tried the the improvised readings a couple times. They're like, no, 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 sis. <laughs> you know, like, no, that, that, that got you that first rule. Now you gotta study. Oh, so there you go. I, I started working with the um I did start working with an acting coach, uh Susan Batson, phenomenal coach. And um, but I did not get any more roles. Uh, like, no, no those are coming. At some point, we started working on the second flip mode album that that actually never came out. So I ended up going back to, you know, I got a little discouraged after a couple of roles and was like, man, let me go take my ass back to music. Cause now I'm 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 spoiled and I'm trying to compete with the big dogs and I'm losing roles to like to Raji and Regina King, Kerry Washington. I'm like, oh, okay. So, so hey, now, you know, losing <laughs> roles to them is a, that that that. I'm like, okay, and on that note, I'm gonna take my ass back to New York. <laughs> and I'm gonna get these bars later for this day of Hollywood. But no, I'm still, I'm still very much uh, into it. I'm even, uh, I'm even more so exploring behind the scenes I there's there are a, I have a couple of ideas that I'm trying to bring to life right now that are in development I'm in the process of selecting screenwriters I have a um I have a, a, a an Egyptian culture series that I'm trying to produce as well as a um, as well as another hip hop a, a, a new a, a new age hip hop with some of the, you know, with some of the new talent that's out now and uh and also a, a, a horror flick. So I got a couple, couple you know. Ooh, couple I can't wait great. for that. Yes. Hey, and on a just real quick note, you know that 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 joint you guys did the with with uh, the squad and, Mar and Mariah like mm. I think every female I've ever cruised in their car knows your whole <laughs> verse like they oh. they make sure they spit that verse with that song's on. I think Busta just released. Well, I know there's a part two on the on the album, but um, I I did see something on social media just a minute ago that uh that it's like the 18 year anniversary of that record. So it's crazy how time flies. It really flies, yeah. and you look amazing. It doesn't even seem like it's been 18 years. Time is going backwards for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, not sure what your secrets <laughs> <No>. are. <laughs> See, you're you're doing it well, man. I just pretend. I just still walk around here like I'm. He's as old it. as hip hop. Yeah, He's right. Around. Fucking, He's I just, all cracking. I, I just walk around <laughs> like I'm still alive as shit, and then I hurt my hip. Hey, but hey, real quick though, uh, she's coming, man. April 10th, uh, DJ House Shoes, The Visionaries, Visionaries. Rod Digga, yeah. Red Maddox gonna be there. Um, Hosted by Pause One. Yeah, uh, April 10th, right, 7:20 East Arrow Highway in Covina, right down the street, 1 to 5 p.m. That's dope. You know, we, yes. you'll see, you'll probably see most of us that are here in the building that night. So yeah, we'll you be know. there. You got a full house tonight. Everyone's here to support. We are so glad that you made First it tonight. Show of 2021. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I almost forgot we had a 2020. I want to just erase that one. I from know. The... You, you were, I almost said 2020. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> this one <laughs> right we are going to get into the video that feature it's called where the hood it's our friends in michigan the fist coalition hey. but we just wanted to thank you one more time before we get into that video um you flew down there to shoot that right yes i did those are my those are my guys and i, I did a show out there Ooh. Turned that, that, that show was off the chain. Yeah, you bodied that. And you looked like you were in your element. Was that their their actual neighborhood or did you guys just choose a, a location randomly? I believe I, I believe so. I believe one of the artists that that I think that was like one of their uh relatives' house or something like that. But no, it's so funny. I got a funny story about that trip. So, you know. When I, whenever I go to different towns, I, I always I always want to see the hood, right? I always want to go to like the most underlying hole in the wall good food spot. And so we're we're rolling through the neighborhood and we get to we get to one particular neighborhood. Uh, I think one of them like going to their cousin's house or something. And we pull we're, we're driving as we're pulling up like we can literally see everything 
that's go like what's going on in their head. It's like we kind of pull up down the street and we see them looking. It's like, okay, there's a car that we don't recognize because we're, we're, we're in a rental. They're looking, it's like, okay, we don't recognize that car. So then we inch up a little closer and we see the guy like go to his car, kind of like reach in the car and then come back across the street. So we're narrating the whole routine like, okay, now see when he just went and got the strap because he don't recognize us. And like, like we're literally watching, scripting the whole thing uh, uh, play it out. And then um, he comes back. So then when he pulls, so then we get there, they're like, oh, snap, right there. Oh, that's what's up. Yo, you real. Like, you got to come see shit. Like, yeah, wait, I know who you was. I'm like, he was like, I know who you was. I went got time. Like, I know. I bet when you went to the car, yeah. that's what you think they going to do, right? Get the tongue because you ain't recognize me. Like, girl, I'm like, yes, I, I'm there. I be knowing. Yeah. I know how we know. So that, no, I had, um, uh, I had a shout out my boy uh, Potty. Like, no, that was he. They showed me a, a a really good time. They were they were great hosts. I would I would uh, I would call them my, my fam. We're gonna have to nice. find the the dopest hood taco spots or something over here yeah, when you come down. You. Yeah, yeah. Well, and we'll, yeah, we'll, I, need, I need all that dirty taco. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I come to Rome, all I want to do is the Romans. I don't like I don't like going places and and doing you know doing what I do. I want to I want to you know see what y'all be about. That that's what it is right there. It's on. Say we'll, less. We'll, we'll make sure we we'll put in the call, man. Don't worry, it's just us rolling down the street. Don't be coming reaching in your car. We we got the flashing <laughs> light. We know how to do the headlights. We yeah. can pull up yes. without getting a shoddy pulled out. <laughs> Speaking of Shoddy, shout out to Big Shoddy, the producer on that track where the hood it has a sample from DMX. It's pretty dope. Uh, it is a seldom seen and Mike Hunter D featuring Rod Digga, where the hood. We're going to get into that real quick and then we'll say goodnight to you. Be side, y'all. Industry. industry man it's not the same it's not the same it's not the same does it have to do with talent it's about playing the game the industry real niggas is dying to get in the industry just to find they don't fit in. the industry ain't what it used to be bring that big bird
Luca. I'm Frank Lucas. I'm exclusive. The music blueprint, boofing the movement. Like Bumpy Johnson, the black Charles Bronson, Kendrick to Compton, asleep in my conscience. Look. I'm as light as Swanson In my bricks they flood the streets of Wisconsin I move constant, I'm action Bronson Anyone would promise the game is nonsense In a battle I beat you, I kill you on features You approve the student, you should honor your teacher Like Lindsay Lohan, I'm high for the moment Then I ball like old, I'm and fuck him with a Trojan Look I'm hood with focus, y'all pop mollies and cotton, but I'm bringing the omen Then I swear to prayer for a bird in the pack And then we gon' bees in a trap, but I'm who where you at? Yeah Yeah We here We here This motherfucking hundred D Yeah Yeah I live for the hustle, the quarter pound in the duffel Dying over blocks to simulate your muscle My whole design is set up for failure No bars left, niggas dying like cellular I sway like Kanye, you ain't got the answer This levels to this game, only one man left Mario King Cooper, we fighting to the death Mushroom fireballs, black NES 90 style overalls, black bubble vest I scribble my life on paper, like extra sketch Cyclist minstrel, bloody like Cortex 100 deep plus Skin, escape from gun roof Detroit, no better shows My death is proof Like Kurt Russell bitches Flying through the roof Cat in the hat strap The hood Dr. Seuss Surgical white gloves Choking nigga like loose Some rules Act like you know already every single Monday night, man. We're here with the livest artists doing their thing. And it's an honor for us to have Rod Digga um, on via Zoom. And we're going to see her all the way live uh, April 10th. Don't miss that show. Yeah. You got a taste of that right now. You got to meet Rod Digga. And you saw that dope-ass video. She killed that, body that. That's one of my favorite songs. I was so surprised you made that track what it was. You really did. <laughs> Yo. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so um, you know, um, getting back to it, you know, hopefully, obviously, hopefully, 2021 is a little more productive for everybody. Um, but um, any any plans on with the with the solo stuff? I mean, new projects. Uh, new projects. Any any uh, thing you're working on that we should know about? Something you want to leak? Or oh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I hate saying. Oh yeah. I got because it never does like i just kind of <laughs> right i just kind of go as the as the wind blows but i i, I am you know i am working on music um the long-awaited flip mode reunion album that uh we had we actually completed it um about two years ago i i'm if, don't quote me but it, it is a uh, scheduled to be released this year and um i'm thinking i'm I'm really toying around with the idea of of launching a label i mean for years i've kind of you know shied away from it just because i i just didn't want the responsibility of of the you know artist life and and career in my hands like i know me if i want to you know if i want to like Binge watch a television series. I don't need an artist blowing me up with their personal uh, issues. So it's like, you know, there's just different things that I've been like weighing the pros and cons of doing it. But I do think, I do think there are artists that, that really need that. And, and to be honest, that's, that's what's missing. I think uh, the, you know, the artist co sign, you know, my area was like, uh, you know, you had crews, you had your female in the crew. I, I, I really don't see that anymore. I don't see like crew camaraderie and artist mentor mentorship like that. I, I, I think it's really important. Uh, just keeping the keeping the, the legacy going. It's better than 
from previous generation artists than Oh yeah. yeah. No, I I they think you look hit like it. they're coming out of a petri dish. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, up. but you hit it though. I think that is what's missing is that that guidance part cuz you know that uh little Yeah, yeah. And that part it has went away over the years a little bit, but I, I it's good to see like artists reaching back and getting back to that cuz that's sometimes the difference in someone's career right there is just making them right choices and which way to go, you know? Definitely. And what better than the an empress, right? That empress <laughs> energy and someone who literally it's a built it. For me, I gotta do it for somebody, you know. Right. I, I, you know, I, I I do my best for Lily, but you know, she she's already a, a, a full blown butterfly. <laughs> yeah, she's doing this, her thing. You know, that's Absolutely. Right. Hey, we can't wait to see you on the tenth. We're gonna be, you know, there. We'll be there. We're gonna be rocking out with a sure. map for tacos. Just real quick, I just wanted to say, nice to meet you. I'm producing Shout in the back. I didn't get a chance to chop it up, but yep, I'm, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank curtain. you for coming on. I appreciate that. This is dope. Hey, he never, so much. he yeah, never comes you. out of that oh, little yeah. booth. Yeah, he just, he just let came me out. out for yeah. Yeah. Him out. let me out to say what's up. Thank you again so much. We appreciate you coming through. Can't wait to see you in April. We'll see you on the tenth. Thank y'all for having me. It'll be, it'll be here before you know it. See y'all soon. Oh, we ready. Right. Dirty Harry, Rod Digger in the building on the B-side show. Act like, like you, you know. know. Peace. Yeah. God speaks. God speaks. Shit. Let me get into it. Get into it. Yeah, uh, chat God forgive me for my selfish views My POV is skewed Made it out of hell, now I got melted shoes Looking crazy